check the feed. I think we live. All right, Shalom. Shalom. First and foremost, as always, we're giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Makar Kodash. Yahweh is the true name of the Heavenly Father. Yahweh Shai is the name of His only begotten Son, our Lord and Savior, whom the word we know is Jesus Christ. Ba'ashem, Makar Kodash is in the name of the Holy Spirit, the inspiration given to us, the Lord willing, edify those who have ears to hear and receive this truth. Double honors to our teachers, the apostles and elders of the great millstone. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect brothers preaching this word with fear and trembling through the spirit and power of your heart by you how was shy. All right, and shalom to the believers who subscribe to this truth through the spirit and power of your heart by you how was shy, man. All right, so uh, we're the GMS Memphis Camp coming at you with a lesson, live show entitled We Are the People of the Bible, okay? And I got with me the brother Karab, the money, all right? And uh, I'm the brother Tazamak. And we're just going to get right into it because, you know, there's a lot of naysayers and gangsayers out there who, you know, deny the fact of the prophecies written that identify the so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native American, and Hispanics primarily as the people of the Bible, okay? As the 12 tribes of the patriarch, uh, the 12 sons of the patriarch Jacob, which make up the 12 tribes of Israel. But it's undeniable, all right? Unless you don't have the ears to hear, all right, and eyes to see it. But it's not for everyone to get it. So we are doing this again for those that have the ears to hear and eyes to see it. So without further ado, we're gonna get Romans 8 and 16. This is Romans chapter 8, verse 16. Mm -hmm. The spirit itself bear witness with our spirit that we are the children of Yahweh Shem Yahweh It say the spirit itself. Read it in the NLT. This is Romans 8 and 16 in the NLT. For his spirit joined with our spirit to affirm that we are Yahweh Shem Yahweh children. Okay, now to my own, get uh, Revelation 19 and 10. Because it says his spirit. Meaning who? The spirit of Yahweh Shem Yahweh What is his spirit? Revelation 19 and 10. This is Revelation chapter 19, verse 10. And I fell at his feet to worship him. And he said unto me, See thou, do it not. I am thy fellow servant, and of thy brethren that have the testimony of Yahweh Shai, worship the Most High. For the testimony of Yahweh Shai is the spirit of prophecy. See? So the spirit of prophecy is ultimately what's working within the contents of this Bible to identify who his people are, who his chosen people are, will only come to a, a, a known fact, will only be a known fact through uh, 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 the spirit of this book, man. Okay? Go ahead and get John 6 and 63 real quick. This is John chapter 6, verse 63. It is the spirit that quicketh the flesh profit nothing. Right. So the, the spirit of this Bible is the spirit of prophecy. That's what makes it alive. Okay. Because there's no other book on the planet that it entails prophecy the way that the Bible does. Okay. There's no other book that declares the end from the beginning. Okay. Go ahead. The words that I speak unto you, 
they are spirit and they are life the words that the lord speak unto us all right but only those that have an ear to hear all right the lord say what my sheep hear my voice okay so only those that identify with the spirit of your heart by shimmy house is going to be able to receive this and know that they are the true uh, uh heirs to the throne all right now go ahead and read through verse 17 in romans 8. this is romans 8 and 17 and if children then heirs heirs of yahweh and joint heirs with hamashiach if See? so so we are joint heirs through the spirit working in us because it's the same spirit that is of the heavenly father and his only begotten son the mm -hmm. hold on deck uh first john the fifth chapter keep going corrupt with the mashiach and if so be that we suffer with him that we may be also glorified together right and read it in the uh kjv NLT. oh yeah the nlt so like this is romans 8 and 17 and since we are his children we are his heirs since we are his children we are his heirs mm -hmm. okay with, with, with heirs comes what an inheritance when, when it means you are an heir to something that means you have an heritage mm -hmm. okay so our heritage is the spirit all right of this bible the understanding to be able to receive it that's our heritage go ahead in fact together with hamashiach we are here heirs of yahweh's glory but if we are to share his glory we must also share his suffering so that's very key to identifying who we are mm -hmm. that's very key to identifying the sons of god the way that they would have to suffer mm -hmm. in order to be able to receive this truth okay now keep that in mind right go ahead uh to mind with the first john 5 and uh start at verse 5. this is first john chapter 5 verse 5 who is he that overcometh the world who is he that overcometh the world go ahead but he that believe it that yahweh shah is the son of the most high so you have to believe first and foremost in the only begotten son of the most high okay that's the first part of your spirit bearing witness mm -hmm. you have to believe on the savior you have to believe that there is salvation that comes from on high all right go ahead verse six this is he that came by by waters and blood even yahweh shah mashiach not by waters only but by waters and blood by waters and blood okay which in particular that means what he came in the flesh yep. okay by water and blood you read wisdom of solomon matter of fact corral get wisdom of solomon seven and seven real quick oh, no, i got you this is wisdom of Solomon 7 and 7. Wherefore I prayed and understanding was given me. I called upon you how about Shema Shah and the spirit of wisdom came to me. That's wisdom of Solomon 7 and 7. Mm -hmm. Oh, start at 1. Yeah. Salaki. Salaki. That's beautiful though because uh, <laughs> that's beautiful because you do have to pray you have to like nobody came into this thing uh without you know seeking it seeking the truth praying and and, and, and inquiring of the truth yeah. right go ahead this is wisdom of solomon 7 and 1 i myself also am a mortal man mm -hmm. like to all in the offspring of him that was first made of the earth mm -hmm. in my mother's womb was fashioned to be flesh in the time of 10 months being compacted in blood and of the seed of men and the pleasures that came with sleep go ahead and when i was born i drew in the common air and fell upon the earth which is of like nature and the first voice which i uttered was crying as all others do go ahead and i was nursed in the swaddling clothes and with and in death with cares mm -hmm. But there is no king that had any other beginning of birth. Read that sentence again. This is wisdom of Solomon 7 and 5. 
for there is no king that had any other beginning of birth. Read that one more time. This is Wisdom of Solomon 7 and 5. For there is no king that had any other beginning of birth. He said there is no king that had any other beginning at birth. Yeah. So who is the king of kings? All right. Who is the Lord of lords? Yahweh Shah. Mm -hmm. Right. Which is so beautiful because Solomon, if you can receive it. All right. Had the same spirit. That spirit was uh, Yahweh Shah. He was mm -hmm. Yahweh Shah in the spirit. Okay. And he said he was born of the uh, uh, first man ever created. Who was the first man ever created? Yeah, Yahweh sure. Shah. All right. <laughs> so go back to uh, 1 John 5 and 6. This is 1 John chapter 5, verse 6. This is he that came by waters and blood. Even Yahweh Shah or Mashiach, not by waters only, but by waters and blood. And it is the spirit that bears witness, because the spirit is true. There you go again. It is the spirit that bears witness with our Lord and Savior's spirit, yeah. right? Because not only did he come uh, by water, he came by blood and water. So he came in the flesh, right? Go ahead. Verse 7. For there are three that bear record in heavens. Uh -huh. The Father, the Word, the Holy Spirit, and these three are one. The Father, the Word, which mm -hmm. is Yahweh yeah. Shah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> the Father, the Word, which is Yahweh Shah. Right? Mm -hmm. He said, Lo, I come in the volume mm -hmm. of the book. Mm -hmm. It is written to me to do the will of the Father yeah. and the Holy Spirit, which the Holy Spirit is the privileged, pure understanding that comes with this document, man. All right? You got a precept? Yeah. Go ahead. Back in Wisdom of Solomon 7 and 7, Wherefore I prayed, and understanding was given me, and I called upon Yahweh by Shema Shai, and the spirit of wisdom came to me. There it is, man. Okay? So it, it has to be something that is in you, all right? A contrite heart. A, a, a meek and lowly mind to receive the understanding of the truth. Mm -hmm. That's a that's a special type of spirit. You can go ahead and finish that, and then we're gonna jump back. Uh, Karab, go ahead. Go ahead, Doctor uh, Mike. This verse, uh, verse seven. Yep. For there are three that bear record in heavens: the Father, the words, and the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. And these threes are one. Mm -hmm. Verse eight. And there are three that bear witness in earth. There's three that bear witness on earth. Go ahead. The spirit. The spirit. The waters. The waters. The blood. And the blood. So there's a bloodline, okay, that the Lord has preserved on earth. Yep. Right? He has a bloodline that he has preserved on earth, man. That is the bloodline of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Okay. Go ahead. And these threes agree in one. These three agree in one. Okay. So there's an agreement through the spirit of power of Yahweh by Shin mm -hmm. <laughs> with uh, 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 him, his son, and his people. All right. And it only comes through the spirit, which no one can can intervene, can 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 implement themselves into that. All right. You can't uh you can't fight against the spirit. Yeah. You can't stop the spirit from taking this course. All right. That's something that is uh outside of the power of men. Okay? Yeah. So what happened to us as a people was all according to the spirit for us to be able to receive this truth and then not only uh receive it, but come to terms with it, bear witness with it. And uh, 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 testify of the glory of Yahweh Bashi Yahweh Shai to everyone who is in agreement with it, who can be in agreement with it. All right? Mm -hmm. the initiation. That initiation, you know? So we're going to get into it. Uh, go back to, oh yeah, Romans 8. Mm -hmm. Go back to Romans 8 and read verse 17. You got something? Oh, I got John 14 and 16. Uh, okay, go ahead and read that. This is John chapter 14, verse 16. And I will pray 
the Father, and he shall give you another comforter, mm -hmm. that he may abide with you forever, even a spirit of truth, whom the world cannot receive, because it seeth him not, neither knoweth him, but he knoweth him, for he dwell with you, and shall be in you. Plain, man. Go right with you, That's man. plain, man. Jump down to verse 26. This is John chapter 14, verse 26. But the comforter, which is the Holy Spirit. What's the what's the comforter? The Holy Spirit, man. Yeah. The understanding of this word. Okay? That's the comforter. <laughs> Not because you got these people that try to tell you the comforter is, is some deity or some, some man that's supposed to, to come. Yeah. All right. You know, you got people that that, that tell you like uh this dude that just recently was uh telling people that he or uh, Tazadakia, you know. I can't even think of the group that he was a part of. It's supposed to have been a God sent comforter, man. No, the comforter is the Holy Spirit. It just said that. Read that again. This is John chapter 14, verse 26. But the comforter, which is the Holy Spirit, yep. whom the Father will send in my name, he shall teach you all things. He will send in whose name? Yahweh Shah's name, that's in red. That's the that's that's the uh only begotten son, our Lord and Savior's words right there. Mm -hmm. He said he's gonna send the Holy Spirit in his name. Okay. And that's why it's so important when you uh dealing with this truth that you must be able to receive the names, all right, the sacred names of the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son. That's 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 a part of the comfort. All right, that's the really that's that's the first part of the comfort because there's no salvation in any other name. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. He shall teach you all things. Say, teach us what? He shall teach you all things. All things, not some things, not part of it. Mm -hmm. All things, the one hundred percent truth, man. Okay, so we don't have to have a doubt in our minds when we have the Holy Spirit of what the truth is. All right, the truth of the fact that we so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, Hispanics, so-called Dominicans, so so so-called Guatemalan Panamanians, all right, and not only that, but those seeds of those people scattered amongst all these other nations that have taken on their looks and their customs, all right, and have been in the darkness of these other cultures, not knowing that they were Israelites, are also uh 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 extended the mercy of receiving the uh the spirit of understanding man mm -hmm. go ahead bro is that was that it oh uh, it's a little bit more okay a little bit more and bring all things to your remembrance bringing all things to your remembrance man yeah you know because it said well we once knew this you know but guess what a part of the curse was that we would forget our power and we forget who we were give me jeremiah 17 and 4 real quick go ahead and finish it off Bob. and bring all things to your remembrance whatsoever i have said unto you what whatsoever he has said unto us this is the record of everything that he said unto us okay for the law statutes and commandments that he gave us to keep all right from generation to generation to generation right <laughs> until you know it say not one jot nor tittle in the law shall and no wise shall no wise pass from the law until all, until all be, fulfilled. be fulfilled. Go ahead, bro. This is Jeremiah 17 and 4. Even thou, even thyself shall discontinue from thy inheritance that I gave thee, and I will cause thee to serve thy enemies in the land which thou knowest not. That was a part of the curse. What was our heritage? Okay, Deuteronomy 28, the law, statutes, and commandments. Yep. All right, and the, the contract, the, 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 the contractual agreement of our inheritance is Deuteronomy, the 28th chapter. Yeah, no other people identify in Deuteronomy 28, verses 16 to 68. Yeah, <laughs> except for the so called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, and Hispanics. Mm -hmm. All right. But that was the whole thing. Go back to Romans 8 and 17 and read it to NLT again. This is Romans 8 and 17 in the NLT. It says, 
And since we are his children, we are his heirs. In fact, together with Hamashiach, we are here heirs of the Most High's glory. But if we are to share his glory, we must also share his suffering. So Jeremiah is in Jeremiah 17 chapter, he said, uh, uh, thou, even thine self, shall mm -hmm. discontinue from thine heritage. You know, that's 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 like I say, that's what comes with being an heir to something, an heritage. What is our inheritance? <laughs> These laws, statutes, and commandments, the understanding of the judgment, the righteous judgment of the Heavenly Father. That's our inheritance, man. Yeah. Okay? And the suffering that we would go through would, 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 is what would identify us as the people of the Most High. To my, give me Jeremiah 9, 12, and 13. Jeremiah chapter 9, verse 12. Who is the wise man that may understand this? Who is the wise man that may understand this? Go ahead. <laughs> and who is he to whom the mouth of the Lord has spoken? And <laughs> go ahead. That he may declare it. That he may what? Declare it. Go ahead. For what the land perish and is burned up like a wilderness that none pass through yep now go to go to go to daniel 9 and 12. this is daniel chapter 9 verse 12 and he has confirmed his words which he has spake against us and he has did what confirmed his words which he spake against us go ahead and against our judge in that slack our judge that judge us by bringing upon us a great evil who is our judge Man, we shy. so his words he has confirmed against us and against our judge <laughs> because remember your shot went off too yeah. as adam as king solomon right Matter of fact, get that that he he died not uh, not for our sins, but for his. Yeah, yeah. Because a lot of people don't understand that, you know, they don't understand the the concept of reincarnation. But before Yahweh Shah came as himself in that perfect body, okay, what happened? He failed as King Solomon. He failed as as Adam, you know. But he was that lamb without blemish when he when he came as himself, man. Read it again to Mike. This is uh, Daniel chapter 9, verse 12. And he had confirmed his words, which he spake against us and against our judges that judged us by bringing upon us a great evil. Yep. For under the whole heaven has not been done as have been done upon Jerusalem. For under the whole heaven has not been done right as what has been done unto jerusalem okay and it's talking about the people it's a people before it's a place so when you go into history and you think about the most gruesome death that anyone has suffered and not just anyone but any people has ever suffered when you deal with anyone you think about who? Yahweh Shai, whom the world even called Jesus Christ. Right? Nobody suffered a, a, a more gruesome, more excruciating, painful death than Yahweh Shai. Okay? Matter of fact, he's he, he's known for being hung, hanged on a cross and crucified, man. Mm -hmm. Okay? To be the savior, as some say, for the world, not knowing the, the, the meaning of that world, but we know that world is for his people, okay? So going back to Romans 8 and 17, 8 and 16 and 17, what confirms us as the sons of God is the spirit of Yahweh Shah and the suffering that he had to go through. It would be the same suffering that his people as a whole would have to suffer. Go ahead, Tamayah. This is verse 13. This is Daniel chapter 9, verse 13. As it is written in the law of Moses, 
all this evil is come upon us. Yet may we not our prayers before the Lord, our power, that we might turn from our iniquities and understand thy truth. <laughs> you see that? Mm -hmm. You see that? So all this was done for us to be able to receive and understand the truth. But it says, what about the law of Moses? Go ahead uh, and read the top of 13 again. This is Daniel chapter 9, verse 13. As it is written in the law of Moses, all this evil has come upon us. Yet may we not our prayers before the Lord, our power, that we might turn from our iniquities and understand thy truth. Right. So we would be able to come back and understand the truth once we turn and repentant of our ways. Okay. Once we return and repentant of our ways, that's what's written in the law. Okay. The way that we would conduct ourselves would determine our fate. What is talking about in the law of Moses? So, my, you got the blue letter? Okay. Go to the blue letter. Go to the word cross. Go to the cross reference for verse 13 and read what it says. You know how to go to the cross reference, right? Yeah, yeah, come. So go to the cross reference for verse 13 and read it. All you had to do was type in his own sins also, and it's gonna uh, come up. KJV. The first one. Yeah, it's it should be a passage. It should be like a uh yep, that's it right there. Yep, read that. Thus, every succeeding part of the scarce writing sacred um uh, Thus every su succeeding part of the sacred writing attests mm -hmm. to prove that divine authority of the preceding oh, the history related the fulfillment of former prediction and then new prophecies are added which future event accomplished and thus demonstrated their inspiration to the latest ages mm -hmm. see so it's telling you that the things was written for time was written for our learning mm -hmm. Matter of fact, let me get it so I can read it. I know it was some 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 words in there that you know what I'm saying. Let me read it right quick. It says, thus every succeeding part of the sacred writings attest and prove the divine authority of the proceeding. The history relates the fulfillment of formal predictions. The fulfillment of formal predictions. So read Genesis 49 and 1 right quick. So the fulfillment of formal predictions, meaning what? Predictions goes into prophecies. Predicts mean you, 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 you tell something that's going to happen before it happens. Yeah. Right? So go to Genesis 49 and 1. This is Genesis 49 and 1. And Jacob called unto his sons and said, Gather yourselves together that I may tell you that which shall befall you in the last days. That I may tell you what's going to happen to you in the last days. Right, I'm going back to it. It's a lot. <laughs> All right. So it says, the history relates the fulfillment of formal predictions. When we go to Genesis, the 49th chapter, which we're not going to go through it for, for time's sake. When you read Genesis, the 49th chapter, there's a certain, uh, 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 there's a certain lifestyle that is to befall upon the tribes. the tribes, the sons of Jacob and 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 and, and his uh, offsprings. Okay, mm -hmm. and their offspring and their generations, man. So it says, and the new prophecies are added, which future events accomplish, and thus demonstrate their inspiration to the latest ages, right? Mm -hmm. So that inspiration goes into what? That breath of life. What inspires us to know that we are the people of the Most High is what? The prophecies, the past prophecies of what was going to happen to us as a people, man. Mm -hmm. Okay? 
That's how we know that we are the children of the Most High. And guess what it has for a reference to that? Daniel 9 and 11. Leviticus 26, 14 through 46. Hold on. Deuteronomy 28, 15 through 68, man. <laughs> that's the inspiration. Come on, <laughs> man. And that's where we're going to go. So let's go to Deuteronomy 28. We're going to read verse 15. We're going to read a few of the curses. And then I want to get verse 46. And then we're going to get 68 last, man. And see, this is far-fetched for those that are not of the initiated, like the brother was saying earlier, okay? This is far-fetched beyond the world and the wisdom that they have. This is not worldly wisdom. This was given to us from on high. Go ahead, bro. This is Deuteronomy 28, starting at 15. Mm -hmm. But it shall come to pass, uh -huh. if thou would not hearken, unto the voice of the Lord thy power to observe and to do all his commandments and his statues which I command thee this day that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee Daniel 9 and 12 again and he hath confirmed his words which he spake against us yep. confirmed <laughs> 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 That's how we identify that we are the children of the Most High because His words are confirmed in our lifestyles, in our heritage, in, in our roots of where we come from, yep. the struggle that we had to go through, that we still go through to this day. Go ahead, bro. Cursed shall thou be in the city, and cursed shall thou be in the field. Cursed shall all be thy baskets and thy store. Curse shall be the fruit of thy body and the fruit of thy land. Curse shall be the fruit of thy body. Who's known for cancer? Who's known for having high blood pressure? Uh, uh, what's the other? Uh, diabetes. Yeah, gout. Okay. Gout. Cancer. Mm -hmm. Coronavirus. <laughs> Come on, man. Go the, ahead, bro. The increase of thy kind in thy flocks of thy sheep. Curse should thou be when thou comest in. What 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 how many Jakes you know on on got flocks and got sheep, got land, you know, got livestock, got cattle, got real true resources, got a well. You don't see no 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 so-called uh blacks, Native Americans, uh and Latinos uh living off the land like that, man. Okay. That's far and in between. That's far fetched for our people. Yeah. Because those are the true riches in those those so-called white people, all right? They know that. That's why you see them living those type of lifestyles. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, bro. Cursed should thou be when thou comest in, and cursed should thou be when thou goest out. Right. You go to work, you catch a mm -hmm. hell. You come home, you dealing with your woman. If you got one, you catch a hell. If you don't got one, you catch a hell. You got leaks in your roof, yeah. you know? Your hot water heater busted, right? You, you matter of fact, you might get off of work, your damn car won't start. Man. When we talk about those type of things, who what what who does that relate to, man? You know, when we even speak about certain scenarios of suffering, you see the people that that identifies with, man. Yeah. Go ahead, bro. Verse 20. The Lord shall send upon thee cursing, vexation, and rebuke. And all that thou settest thy hand unto for to do. And that's what Jake B says. Like, man, no matter what I do, man. I, touch, I can't bro. get out of I can't get out. I can't get out of this, man. You know? Yeah. I can't get a break. That's what one of Jake, you know what I'm saying? I was watching uh earlier today, I was watching the Colin Kaepernick little uh series, you know, white and black or something like that is called. Yeah. You know, he's like he, he can never just get a break. No matter how he he was uh, everything he was doing. You know, he was getting pretty much hell behind it, no matter how good he was doing. Okay? Because this, like I say, this is not our rest. Here we have no continuing city. This was our sentencing. We were brought here to serve a sentence of punishment, man. Yep. And the punishment that we would go through would be uh, an identifier of who we are according to the Bible. Just like Esau, his works. Identify him in the Bible, man. Sure. Go ahead, bro. It you said, can jump. You after that verse, you can jump, jump, jump to verse forty-six. 
for to do until thou be destroyed and until thou perish quickly because of the wickedness of thy doings whereby thou hast forsaken me. Because of the wickedness of thy doings, right? So he said, these curses going to come upon us because of uh, the wickedness of our doings, the things that we've done, the transgressions, right? Mm -hmm. But how will we come back? How will we be able to come back, all right? Through repenting and turning from those ways, man. But somebody would have to be there to show us these things, to call these things to our mind. It would have to be some type of uh, spirit, right? Which spirit is the word that would fall on our ears mm -hmm. to show us, look, we fucked up and we got to get right. Yeah. Jake don't even know the predicament. He don't even understand the predicament that he in, you know? Jake don't know he, most for the most part, Jake don't know he cursed. He just know, man, he's struggling, but he don't know why. He don't know the reason behind the struggle. Mm -hmm. Jump to verse 46. You, you have something to, to mind? Oh, no, I, I was holding something from the uh, cross reference. Yeah. Okay, okay, cuz. This is Deuteronomy 28 and 46. And they shall be upon thee for a sign. Say what? And they shall be upon thee for a sign. These curses will be upon us for a sign. Mm -hmm. So if we're not the people, tell me who is. Who, who else <laughs> is this mm -hmm. sign on? Right? <laughs> right? <laughs> Black Lives Matter, right? Uh, <laughs> who, who else you see? Have have a protest campaign set up for mm -hmm. their lives mattering. Man. You know? And they've been doing it for years. Come man. on, man. Not 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 until not until uh they start coming up with Black Lives Matter. Then they want to start going with all lives matter, you know. <laughs> Come on, man. Cause everybody on the earth knows that we are the most peculiar people, yeah. right? That we are the most uh, uh controversial. People of conflict, people of struggle, man. Go ahead, bro. For a wonder and upon thy seed forever. For a wonder and upon thy seed forever, which forever there just means a long time, which it seems like we've been going through this forever, okay? Because as far as we can remember, the people that have been identified as the people of struggle are so-called blacks, Native Americans, Latinos, Hispanics, man. Mm-hmm. Go ahead and jump to uh, verse 68. This is Deuteronomy 28, verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. Into Egypt is talking about what? Bondage, man. Mm -hmm. Okay? Egypt is talking about bondage because the Israelites never went back into the Egyptian captivity after they left. They never went back to the land of Egypt. And they damn sure didn't go on ships. Hell, they didn't leave on ships. Why would they go back on ships? Yeah. Okay, because that is not literal. That's spiritual, man. And when you look at America and how it's set up, it's fashioned after the ways of Egypt. Okay, mm -hmm. even even some of its its legislation, the way that it uh it governs its land, is fashioned after the way of Egypt. When you go down here uh to the Memphis Judicial Building. Okay, which Memphis is even named after Memphis, Egypt. When you go to the Memphis uh, Judicial Building, they got Egyptian Sphinx uh, 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 carved all in the uh, architecture, man. Yeah. You know, got a pyramid sitting right on the river. Which when you go into uh, the, the land of Egypt over in Africa, okay, Memphis is a capital city. They got pyramids all around the Nile, man. Go ahead, bro. Hey, if I if I may add too, uh, uh, Memphis had a history of they put it on the news to where they had the Egyptian guy Ramsey right in front, front of the pyramid. Yep, right in front of the Before pyramid. Before they turned it into the Memphis uh, uh bad the, to the Bass Pro Shop, right? Big ass statue of Ramsey was right out there, man. Mm -hmm. So America is the new Egypt, man. That's right. right. Give me Romans eleven and eight, uh, the Maya, Baba Kusha. This is Romans chapter 11, verse 8. According as it is written, 
the Most High has given them the spirit of slumber, eyes that they should not see, and ears that they should not hear. Eyes that they should not see, and ears that they should not hear, that they are the people. They shall not see the sign, nor hear the prophets. They are set up for a sign. Yeah. Okay? Go ahead, bro. Until this day, as David said, let their tables be made a snare, and a trap, and a stumbling block, and a recompense unto them. Let their eyes be darkened, that they may not see, and bow down their backs away. Yep. And that's ultimately... Uh, why our people can't identify because in this time all right since especially king david prayed for our people to be uh to be uh uh caught in a snare and a trap right which they're caught in the snares and traps of this world and unable to receive the truth but also the main thing is only uh uh set up in the lord's will for the elect one third of his people being 144,000, okay, uh, beginning with the 144,000, all right, and the rest of the one third to be able to receive and understand this truth. Yeah. The rest of the people are going to remain in the congregation of the dead within the land and confines of Egypt. Drop that, give me Revelation 11 and 8. Mm -hmm. This is Revelations 11. This is Revelations 11 and 8. And their dead bodies shall lie in the street of the great city, which is spiritually is called Sodom in Egypt. And their dead bodies, right, shall lie, meaning remain, okay, <laughs> in the street of their great city, which is spiritually known as Sodom in Egypt. Babylon, Sodom in Egypt, man, mm -hmm. okay, which today physically is being called America. But it is the spirit of those ancient kingdoms, all right? That's why when you look on the back of your dollar bill, what do you see? A pyramid, okay? There's no new thing. The thing that has been is the thing that shall be, and there's no new thing mm -hmm. under the sun. But you have to be able to uh, uh, understand the spirit of how the Lord operates. He don't work with uh, flesh and blood. The Lord says it's the spirit that quickened it. The flesh profited nothing. All right? Flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of heaven. Mm -hmm. The kingdom of heaven is right here within the uh, uh, contents of the Holy Bible, man. You had some to mind? It was more? Uh, a little bit more. Yeah, okay. a little bit more. Okay. Recall it and read it from the beginning of the last verse you stopped in. This is Romans chapter 11, verse 10. Let their eyes be darkened that they may not see and bow down back away. Verse 11, I say then, have they stumbled that they should, should fall? God forbid, but rather through their fall, salvation is come unto, what is it going into something else? Go ahead, finish it. Because uh, yeah, that's really going into it, say, but rather through, the, through their fall, okay? So we read Genesis 49, and uh, Jacob told his sons what will befall them in the last days, okay? Amen. So these curses will be on us as a sign in the last days. But particular curses uh, would be on particular tribes more so than others. Like you would you would have, uh, like for the prophecy of Gad, it says a troop shall overcome him, mm -hmm. all right? But he will co overcome in the end, all right? And we understand how the... Uh, the what was it? The uh, British cavalry came upon uh, 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 the North American Indians. Okay, yeah. how those uh, Edomite, so-called European, all right, Spaniards, conquistadors. conquistadors. All right, you had the, uh, the, the the French and the British, man. Yeah. Okay, overtake and they came as as uh, soldiers, as troops, and overcame Gad, man. Go ahead, bro. This is Romans chapter 11, verse 11. I say then, have they stumbled that they should fall? God forbid, but rather through their fall, salvation is come unto the Gentile 
or to provoke them to jealousy, right? So, but rather through their fall. So when you go into it, it's going into how the Gentiles, which are Israelites, by the way, yeah. which we were Gentiles, okay? Carried away unto these dumb idols. Why were we carried away unto these dumb idols? Because the curse is said, we will be given into the hands of our enemies for disobeying the will of the most high. And we will be scattered, right? When we got scattered, that's when we became Gentiles. That's when we lost our heritage. All of these prophecies are part of keeping up with the Lord's people. See, the word uh, is like a cloud over our head. Whatever the Lord's words is like a cloud over our head wherever we go. <laughs> and follow us, <laughs> right? Yeah. And to this day, hey, that cloud still over us. It ain't no escaping it, right? Go back to Deuteronomy 28 and 68. I hear some go to the go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. It's uh first Corinthians chapter 12, verse 2. You know that you were Gentile carried away unto these start at one. You gotta read one. Oh, okay, let me go. You gotta read one. This uh first Corinthians chapter 12, verse 1. Now concerning the spiritual gift, now brother, concerning. The spiritual gifts. Yeah. See? It, it all starts in the spirit of identifying who we are. Right? Go ahead. Now concerning the spiritual gift, brethren, I would not have you ignorant. Ye know that ye were Gentile, carried away unto these dumb idols, even as ye were led. Even as ye were led. And ultimately, who led us into captivity? Who led us into the hands of... Uh, 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 these idols and these uh, gent these uh, Gentile nations. The Lord did. That was his will. Okay? See, as much as we went off, we had no control of going off. Mm -hmm. You see? Because this is, this is the Lord uh, showing his glory to the world. Okay? This is the Lord just showing his power and his glory. That's all it is. But that's the that's the enlightenment of the scriptures. Go ahead, bro. This is Isaiah 63 and 17. O Lord, why hast thou made us to err from thy ways and harden our heart from thy fear? Return for thy servants' sake and the tribes of thy inheritance. Woo! <laughs> Return for thy servants' sake. In the tribes of our inheritance, man. So this, look, man, you, you can't get around, you know, our people, uh, so-called blacks, Native Americans, and Hispanics, we are the people, man, when you when you put it all together, okay? So let's go to uh, back to Deuteronomy 28 and 68, and then to Maya, get Acts 5, 29, and we're going to read through verse 31. This is Deuteronomy 28 and 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships mm -hmm. by the way whereof I spake unto thee. Thou shalt see it no more again, and there ye shall be sold unto your enemies for bond men, bond women, and no man shall buy you. Right. So he said that we were going to be cast out of our land and never see it again and brought back into bondage. And no man would buy us. Get that word by of uh Quran. Mm -hmm. Which that's going into redeeming us. Okay? No man would redeem us. Because people be interpreting it so literal. Because we, we know uh, the transatlantic slave trade uh, is when we came into bondage on ships. Mm -hmm. But they look at the fact that, you know, we were bought and uh, sold on auction blocks where we, we were bought. So what is it talking about? No man would buy me. Nobody would save us, dummy. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, bro. Psalms 8, 7069. Kana. Kana. This is the word by the blue letter, outline biblical usage, verse 8, of the Most High originating, creating, and redeeming his people of the most high originating 
all right, mm -hmm. and redeeming his people, okay? That's what that word by meaning, redeeming us, all right? Because no man is going to get us out of this, right? Nobody has came and, 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 and comforted us. Nobody has came and, and uh, uh, re yeah, <laughs> gave us reparations for the, 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 the hardcore uh, bondage that we serve, right? Mm -hmm. But the Lord is going to comfort us. He said he's going to send us the comfort so that we'll understand the truth and be able to understand why we have been going through what we uh, have been suffering as a people, man. And he also said, what? That he's going to redeem us. Get that, uh, was that what that was? Isaiah, what we read earlier? Uh, uh, he shall not He shall not meet us as a man. Ah, uh, yeah. You know? Because no man is going to save us. All right? But a terrible demon-like angelic power is coming to redeem us, man. Yep. This is Isaiah 47 and 3. Thy nakedness shall be uncovered. It's talking about who? Babylon. Okay. Esau, Edom. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Yea, thy shame shall be seen. Right. Because they are the ones who have been responsible for hiding our identity. Mm -hmm. Okay. And doing all these uh, 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 wicked, abominable acts against us, man. Go ahead, bro. And I would take vengeance. And I will not meet thee as a man. But the Lord is going to take vengeance. He's going to avenge us. He's going to redeem us. It says mm -hmm. he's not going to meet uh, the enemy, our enemies, as a man. He's not going to meet us as a man. You know, <laughs> when we see him, he's going to, we, when we see him, we're going to see him in his glory. Okay. And all his power. All right. The fullness of his strength with the host of heaven. Go ahead, bro. Isaiah 47 and 4, as for our Redeemer. As for who? Our Redeemer. Go ahead. The Lord of hosts is his name, the Holy One of Israel. The Holy One of who? Israel. The Holy One of Israel. Not the, not the whole world, man. Mm -hmm. So who is Israel? Get Acts 5 and 29 to mind. This now we finna get and further prove so-called blacks, Native Americans, and Hispanics indeed are the Israelites. Go ahead. This is Acts chapter 5, verse 29. Then Peter and the other apostle answered and said, We ought to obey. We ought to obey the most high rather than men. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Verse 30. The most high of our father raised up Yahweh Shai, whom ye slew and hanged on a tree. Hanged on a what? Hanged on a tree. Hanged on a what? Hanged on a tree. Okay. Mm -hmm. So if you go on Google right now, and type in people hanging on being hung on trees. Uh, I wonder what people gonna come up. <laughs> and go to images. What you see? Well, you see Jake. Right, man, hold it up to the camera. <laughs> hold it up to the camera, man. See? Right? Man. Which Yahweh Shah was crucified on a tree, man. The spirit itself bear witness with I our spirit, spirit that we are the children of the most high. Yeah. This one too. Mm -hmm. Come on, man. Read from the uh, top of that verse again and read the 31. This is X chapter 5, verse 30. The most high of our fathers raised up Yahweh Shah, whom ye slew and hang on a tree. Verse 31, him has God exalted with his right hand to be a prince and a savior for to give repentance to Israel and forgiveness of sins. To give repentance to Israel, mm -hmm. all right, to redeem Israel, all right? No other nation, just Israel. Yeah. Go ahead with that Galatians. This is Galatians chapter 3, verse 13. Hamashiach have redeemed us from the curse of the law, being made a curse for us, for it is written, Cursed is everyone that hangeth on a tree. Cursed is everyone that hangeth on a tree. Ain't no, ain't no way around it, man. Okay? 
The curses identify us as the people of the most high. <laughs> That's far-fetched for you people who have been blinded. But it say, as his ways are plain unto the holy, there are stumbling blocks unto the wicked. And this is Daniel chapter 12 and verse 10. It reads, Many shall be purified and made white and tried, but the wicked shall do wickedly, and none of the wicked shall understand but the wise shall understand so if you can't get this as plain as we're making it upon tables so that you can get it and run with it right it's because you are wicked right you can't you can't receive this unless your your mind is purified all right and washed from the wickedness of this world you got it up. This is Sirach 39 and 24. As his ways are plain unto the holy, so are they stumbling and blocks unto the wicked. Yep. Yep. And see, Jake, he he don't have uh the the uh, the intellect, okay? Which when you go into the word uh <laughs> matter of fact, the Maya, get the word in, in, in intelligence or uh, intellect in the etymology real quick. And intelligence comes from the most high, man. True intelligence comes from the most high. Did you got it? Oh, uh, he got it up. Oh, okay. He got it. Go ahead. Go ahead, Karab. This is intellect in the etymology, the sum of the cognitive facilities, except sense or sense in imagination. Mm -hmm. The cape, the capacity for the capacity the capacity for reasoning truth the capacity for reasoning <laughs> truth <laughs> you don't have the capacity to reason with truth man all right and I, it's something else <laughs> it's my is this a mourner it's a it's a it's a it's a go to intelligence go he click on intelligence right there this is intelligence in the etymology late 14th century the highest capacity. No, the highest faculty. Faculty of the mind. The highest faculty of the mind. Capacity for comprehending general truths. <laughs> so Jake don't have true intelligence, man. Because the Lord has to give you the ability to understand his judgment. Right? Do it say something about the most high in there somewhere? I, I thought I read it one time. It says something about the most high. But anyway, that's that that's that's enough. That's enough. That's mm -hmm. a good. That's a that's a, that's a, that's a, that's, a, that's enough to choke on right just right there in itself. Go mm ahead, -hmm. bro. Uh, with the Galatians three again. I guess this is Galatians chapter three, verse thirteen. Mm -hmm. Hamashiach have redeemed us from the curse of the law. Yep. Being made a curse for us, for it is written, "Curses everyone that hangeth on a tree." Right. You see, and the curses, like I said, identify us. And like the brother just showed the picture about us. Uh, when you type it in on Google, uh, men being uh, people being hanged on trees. Yeah. We the first people that come up, man. Going back to Daniel nine and twelve, you got something mind you, you simmering over there? Oh no, it just, <laughs> I'm not thinking about that. Yeah, right, cuz, <laughs> cuz. So we gonna get a couple of more. Get uh. Uh, uh, get Hebrews 7 and 14. This is Hebrews chapter 7, verse 14. For it is evident that our Lord sprang out of Judah. For it is evident that our Lord sprang out of Judah. That's enough. And it's going to go into another part, but that's what we want to focus on. Now, the word Jew comes from the word Judah, the tribe of Judah, okay? Collectively, his people are known as what? The Jews. But the Jews, mm -hmm. uh, when you get specific, are actually just the tribe of Judah. Yeah. And the southern kingdom was collectively known as the Jews, okay? Mm -hmm. That so-called Judah, Benjamin, and Levi. Well, not so-called. That's the tribes of Judah, Benjamin, and Levi, right? Now, what does it say about 
the tribe of Judah when you go to Jeremiah 14 and 2. This is Jeremiah 14 and 2. Judah mourning and the gates thereof languish. They are black unto the ground and the crop of Jerusalem is going up. They say they are black unto the ground, man. Now, what tribe was King Solomon from? Oh, man. Judah. So let's go to Songs of Solomon. Uh, is it 1 and 5? Yeah. Come. This is Songs of Solomon 1 and 5. I am black, but calmly. O ye daughters of Jerusalem, as the tents of Kedar, as the curtains of Solomon. Right. So they'll take those scriptures that are literally written, written literally, yeah. and then they want to get all, all spiritual insight on them. On them, you know, scriptures that ain't got no parable behind. There's it, no just... parable to that. <laughs> That's just plain. Job thirty and thirty, man. This is Job and Tra for and for the sake of edification, the word there is not literally black. Remember, the Bible wasn't written in English. The Hebrew word there for black is kadar, yeah. which yeah. means dark skin people, man. Yeah. Go ahead, bro. <laughs> Let, he got it. Let him get it. This is Job chapter 30, verse 30. My skin is black <laughs> upon me. Say what? <laughs> My skin is black upon me. Mm -mm. I don't know how you're going to make that parabolic. <laughs> but hey, you can do whatever you want to, man. You know? <laughs> you can grow you can grow a, a donkey's ass <laughs> if you put your mind to it, I guess, man. <laughs> You got you, you got read it again to my then you get what you got, uh Karab. Uh, this is Job chapter 30, verse 30. My skin is black upon me, and my bones are burnt with heat. Mm. Come on, man. And that's going into him uh uh being famished, man, you know. Mm -hmm. Because at the same time, all right, though it's literal, it's also talking about even in Job, Jeremiah 14 and 2. You know, our people were, were suffering a uh, 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 famine, okay? And it's a certain way that your, 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 your skin clings into your flesh, right? Clings into your bones, all right? When you, when you, when you suffer that famine, right? Mm -hmm. But go ahead, bro. This is Lamentations 5 and 10. Mm. Our skin was black like mm. an oven because of the terrible famine. Hey, while you did Lamentations, go to Lamentations for I believe uh it say uh their visage was blacker than oil I believe oh, yeah. type in the word vis visage v i s a g e I got you. you see it this is lamentations 4 and 8 yep their visage is blacker than a coal <laughs> visage is blacker than a coal man come on man so if 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 the people were so-called white people in the Bible, if the people of the Lord or the people of the Bible so-called white people, why would that be there? Why why would they even have any type of opportunity to misconstrue who the people like? Why would they even present any type of opportunity if they wrote the Bible yeah. and the people of the Bible were them? Come on, man. That's plain. Mm -hmm. And they get highly offended. All right. <laughs> when you go to these scriptures or when you tell them that the Lord was a soul, why does that matter? Yeah. That doesn't matter. <laughs> he died for my sins, <laughs> your sins, and the whole sins of the entire world. No, he didn't. And that's the cognitive disorder right yep, there. Yep, that cogni cognitive <laughs> dissonance. You know? Yeah. You got something to mind? No, no. Okay, so uh, get X. Uh, uh, 13 and 1 and then get it in the NLT Karab. you can read it in the KJV Tamayo this is X 13 and 1 now there were in the church that was at Antioch certain prophet and teachers at Barnabas and Simeon there were certain teachers at the church such as uh, Barnabas okay and Simeon alright mm -hmm. Simeon is Peter, okay? Simeon is Peter. And Barnabas was one of the well, one of the apostles, man. Yeah. Go ahead. That was called uh Niger. That was called Niger. Mm -hmm. All right. 
Now, just in case you don't know what Niger mean, you can always go and look it up on the etymology. We're not going to do it. We're going <laughs> to give it to you in another translation mm -hmm. written even plainer than that. Yeah. So let's go to Acts 13, 1 in the NLT. This is X 13 and 1 in the NLT among the prophets and teachers of the church at Antioch of Syria were Barnabas, Simeon, called the black man. Called what? The black man. Called the black man. <laughs> Come on, man. So you got you uh, dumb, docile people out there trying to debunk this truth and come against the people of the Bible out here on the highways proclaiming that they're the people of the Bible because you have no understanding, man. And see, all of that is coming to an end because for so long, you know, uh, we have been those people with no true identity. But now the time that we're we are rising back up and, 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 and coming to our, uh, our power, you know, it's being... Uh, it's, it's too powerful. It's overwhelming for you people, man. And soon, guess what? It's going to it's going to uh, result to physical affliction coming upon us for this truth. Mm -hmm. This truth comes with enemies. This truth comes with uh, a war that has to be fought. Because this truth comes with the kingdom of heaven, man. The greatest reward that any soul could ever receive. Go ahead, bro. What you got? Uh, this is X 13 and 1, David Guzik commentary. It says, since nigger means black, hmm. he was pre uh presumptuously 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 a black African among the congregation <laughs> in India. <laughs> hey, so with that, we're gonna give all <laughs> praises, <laughs> honor, and glory. To Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Kodash. Hey, double honors again to our apostles and elders of the Great Millstone. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect. Kwame Asherala. Kwame Asherala. Baba Baal. Baba Baal. Rise Israel, destroy confusion. Shalom, La Bukayim. Shalom. Peace to the elect. The commentary sometimes they be going off, but the spirit led me here right here. It's a locket, bros. I'm trying to where I stop this at. Uh, is it the X? Yup. I ain't I ain't went live in so long. <laughs>